So you're a pretty strong weed advocate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I believe very much uh, in the healing powers of marijuana. I think it's ridiculous that it's illegal. Um, I think that uh, I think that we're in a civilized society <laughs> of you know people with some common knowledge. It, it, it it's a no-brainer that weed should be legal. I mean, not only does it help people, but it also if if you're gonna have something like alcohol legal and then say that weed is not in the same category what or what I would uh, think is much less uh, dangerous and problematic than uh, you know I think I think I think weed should have been never made illegal but you know people are greedy so whenever you were in LA, did you have a medical card? I didn't have a medical card, but I didn't, you know, I didn't really need one in LA, man. Uh, you know, you can get it, you can get it all over. And I only lived there for a year, so I didn't really, I didn't really uh, ever have the time to go in and get it. But like I said, I was, I was smoking all the time anyway. Yeah, you were high. So. Yeah, uh, I, sh I will say though that uh, like anything, you know, marijuana can be abused, and uh, there's so there are some people that probably shouldn't smoke it that much if they want to be productive and and I think you should just know know how it affects you and how you know if you're gonna make it a part of your life how to make it a helpful part of your life and not a harmful one because anything that gives you like pleasure can become an addiction and can become like a thing that you use to dull pain or or, or uh, forget about the world or whatever and and there's times for that but you know if that's all you're doing all the time and uh, it can be harmful, but I think overall, as long as you're as long as you're doing it for the right reasons and just following your soul when it tells you what's right and what's wrong, then I think we're a responsible enough world that we should be allowed to partake. So whenever you're in the studio and you're trying to work off of the vibe, right? Mm -hmm. um, do you smoke or do you drink at all whenever mm -hmm. you're in there? I I I like to, if possible, I would like to do like maybe three takes sober maybe go in completely clear head and sober and do three takes and then take a break smoke um vibe with the beat some more listen to the listen to the the sober takes see if there's anything i really need to hone in on or work with and then go back in and try it uh you know high as well i don't drink often in general so uh not much drinking but yeah I'll, I, I like to i like to do both i like to try one sober take or a few sober takes and then do a couple high takes because you know, sometimes, sometimes a song is very like there's a sobering thing to it that it needs like a, and then there's a laid back vibe that is needed for some other songs. So 